Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. In the chapel today, we have Proverbs 16:26. The laborer's appetite works for him; the hunger drives him on. Um, just a lot of things going on. That's busy, busy, um, but not a whole lot, really. If you put it all together, it doesn't sound like much. But I'm gonna work my rear off. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, pretty much, I don't have anything off the hook. Um, uh, in the basket, I've got, whoops, wrong one. I started another one, yes. So, I've gotten through almost two balls of this. Um, and as you can tell, it's kind of tangled. I've been working on it. This is the shrug that is going to go across. It's going to be a lot longer, but it's going to go across. So, um, yeah, there's the first one, the second one. And I still have a little bit of the second one to go. And then I've got three, or I'm sorry, six colors that I'm going to either incorporate or stop where it measures appropriately for my fit. So, yeah, I've been working on that one. Um, I've also been working on my Round the World, but I changed it up a little bit. I wanted one main color to be like the main color and so I basically put a big X through it <laughs> and I'm using that color to sew it up. So I wanted blue to be the dominant one. This is as far as I've gotten. Um, I started with blue in the center and oh, let's see. Oh, no. It's a this is actually a baby blue. Oop, baby blue. That one's a white. Um, and then it goes to purple and then it's got a pink. I, I'm in the wrong room today, so I apologize. Yeah, my phone's going crazy. And I have um, two more to sew on. I'm making my one, two, three. I, I have one more to sew onto that one. And then I'll have three sides of the pink row. And I just have to do the blue. So basically, I'm doing the graduate going out of each color and then doing a blue as every corner so it'll make a square across there and I'm using the blue to sew it up so I'm literally adding around by sewing it on after I get the round done so um, yeah next will be I've got the white blue white purple and I am going to add in a blue row too so um, after the pink I think it's yeah after the pink it goes to blue and then it does white and it starts all over and the blue is going to continue out through the corners so um, it's just going to kind of make it look more supposed to be blue kind of thing um, and we'll see how far I get with the yarn that I have uh, I may have to change it up a little bit who knows so there's that and that and then I started another one um, it's kind of a take on somebody else's pattern, but I just saw this. Um, I'm going to show you the picture off of my phone, I hope. Um, I saw this. No name, no anything. I'm sure if I looked hard enough, I could find this pattern. But I don't have that time to sit and research everything all the time. So this is a photo. Oops. And so I thought, hmm, I kind of like that. But I'm not doing it those colors, and I'm not doing it their way. <laughs> I'm doing it my way. Of course, I always change everything up. Got to have it. So the center one, I've made two, and this is going to be... So I'm going to have a darker side and a lighter side so that I can wear it winter or spring, you know, or fall or spring, whatever. So I've got two of these. I'm going to have this cream color in the front. And this is also going to be my back square. So I'll have my front square and my back square so I can wear it either way. So um, it will be this and then I'll go to the gold. And then I've got this dark green that it goes to and then from there it's going to go to a mint green 
then it's going to go to a light peach and then a darker peach. So um, that is, and it's just, these are also going to be the rounds and it's going to go in that order. And the dark side will have rounds done with this. And so it's not really going to be rounds. It's going to be back and forth along each edge to make it one light side, one dark side. And it'll, of course, have the white. And then the white is going to sew each of the squares together so that it's kind of uniform. The front and the back will both have the white. So um, it'll have one dark side, one light side, and I can wear it either way. So those are the fiber things that I've been doing. Um, now, I was working on something else this weekend or last week. And I think they turned out really cute. I don't know if I talked about I, I put it on Facebook, and I probably should have done a better job of telling you all here. So I've been exploring what to do with my hand-blown eggs. And this is what I have come up with. I have this one. I have this one. That's dandelions. It does burn. I absolutely love this one. Now, I did not... And I'm going to emphasize this. I did not hand paint these. These are hand blown. And these are turkey eggs right here. Okay. And here's another one. Which has the dandelions here. And then it blows away. Um, I have quite a few of them done. I don't think I have time to show you every one. But like this one, I don't have it finished. I have them in various stages. So... What I've done, this one I made all about butterflies. I think I have two that are all about butterflies. I really like this one. I didn't think I would, but it kind of swirls around and then has two little baby swirls like they're flying off or flying to mommy, whatever. So these are hand blown eggs. And basically, after I blew them, I used and you guys are going to laugh at me, I had to learn to put, put on these things right here. And, of course, I can't grab them when I need them. But I have temporary tattoos. They have beautiful, amazing art. Um, you can get so many of these to put on anything. So... Um, yeah, I bought those, and then the packet that I got, I gave $6.99 for, plus, I think, $2 shipping and handling, and so I've cut some of these, but, you know, they've got flowers, they've got hummingbirds, they've got them large and small. Um, this, I didn't think I'd like this because it's just very monotone colors, and so, but I really do. Uh, anyway, a lot of butterflies, a lot of beautiful butterflies. Um, I'm throwing those on the computer. Hopefully I don't disconnect us. Okay. So I literally took these and I had to practice a couple of times, but once I put them on, it, you have to learn to roll them. Okay. Um, because the temporary tattoos are made to stick to our skin and our skin gives these don't give so you have to start here wet it and press and wet and press when I got done I then took it and put it on a skewer and took it outside and um, used just some clear spray paint spray painted them that's where you get that glossy look and then I literally this is ribbon and these are two uh, little pearl beads and I you could get more intricate with it with glass beads or whatever but you know that's pretty amazing and it's beautiful so I am going to make whoops sorry I'm not where I'm supposed to be so I am going to make a tree for them and it's just going to be a decoration so yeah I did work on some of those I did work on that um little trick um, so let me look and see if I have any here. Uh, wouldn't you know what I gave them away? 
so I found these fake eggs and they come in the kid section by Crayola after Easter and you, you they come with chalk and these are said to be chalkboard I was looking to see if I have any done and unfortunately I don't I think I gave them away so these actually work just as well as regular hand blown eggs you can do these and treat them just the same they are plastic so you can drill very carefully drill a little hole and then thread your your uh, ribbon through it and do the same thing so fake eggs that are hollow drill them out very carefully and I will tell you when I say very carefully if you look closely there is a hole at the bottom of them and that will give and crack this one um, is a little bit sturdier so you want to be very careful when you're drilling them but other than that you can use fake eggs you can do anything this is literally temporary tattoos you get them wet you don't even have to press just cut them out pull the plastic thing off lay them and there's a little bit of sticky it doesn't really hold on the curve but where you start it will sticky and then you take a wet rag and go all the way across it and as it gets wetter and wetter it just peels right off and you're love with, left with a lovely tattoo on your egg clear coat it put the ribbon and bead through and you're good to go and they look amazing I've had so many compliments on them so yeah of course my hand blown ones the turkey eggs in, in particular those are from our turkeys uh, Easter passed away oh been almost four years now that one broke my heart yes a turkey I cried over a turkey okay but Easter would come up to me every morning meet me and she was just amazing so I used her eggs to do that and I plan on keeping them and I'm thinking I'm gonna make uh, a tree like I made for the office um, if you didn't see that you can go back and see the little picture tree that I made it's not little okay it's huge and that's so that's gonna be a display for my eggs I'm probably not gonna go as big a scale with it but it is what it is um, so the only thing other than that that's been going on is I've been still working around the house um, we went and bought some of those little Planky, you can't see it, but I am super excited. The fan up here is working. So the light, you could have it on or off by the switch, but you couldn't have the fan running. It, if you pulled the fan on, it shut everything down. So turns out it was re wired wrong. Um, they came and did it r right. Also, I changed a pull tab in the office. So now we can have the fan and the light going at different times. Um, which is great. The stool, I have it tore apart. Roommate is picking up the bowl gasket that I need to finish it, and then that would be a fully functioning. It's not that it wasn't functioning before. It's just it had a drip that would make it run and get the carpet wet. So that will be fixed tonight. i um, been watering the garden. I did find, and this is ridiculous, so my okra, you know I planted it, and it didn't really do anything. So while I was at the store the other day, I came across this seeds display and everything was like half off because it was old so for four dollars I got this packet of seeds but it was only two dollars so for two bucks which is more than I spent on the okra plants that died I went out there and made two rows and we'll just start them from the ground up I hope so we'll see how that goes um, my tomatoes have a bud on them my uh, golden peppers have a bud on them um, yeah just lots of stuff like that doing uh i did get my mother's day gift from rj and i have to share that with you because it's amazing he was at a fundraiser and he bid on this little auction thing that nobody was bidding on and he won i'm reaching across to get it so first i don't know if you know all those little blown art things are quite the rage well, RJ got, let me see, I got to turn it the right way. This one. And it's hard to see, but this goes up like this. And I may have it wrong. I have to look every time to see. But this one is a smaller one. And it's got purples and pinks in it. It's got the butterfly on it. 
and it comes from this one and I think which direction it was blown this yeah sorry that direction and then it goes to this one so he got me those and then I know I haven't had to have my phone on in a long time but I have some issues going on at work and I'll tell you here in just a minute but um, so they also did it over these vases and so this is actually the same colors that are in that it's just they've kind of run more together the pink it looks blue in this but it's really purples so there's so you can see and there's some little yellow and gold and anyway so it's beautiful I love it it is what it is it's my Mother's Day gift so the last thing that's been going on is we're shorthanded at work so I am working like six days a week half days on two of them and 12 hour shifts on three of them and then next after this week I should be good to go I should be golden I work Saturday I have Sunday off then I work Monday I have Tuesday off work Wednesday have Thursday off I work Friday then it's Memorial weekend so Memorial weekend I have Saturday Sunday Monday and Tuesdays my regular day off <laughs> and I'm not giving it up so I have a four-day weekend and I'm excited about it uh, but I have been pulling the hours so that's a good thing um, RJ has been traveling in his world and he's been doing really good if you follow him on Facebook you've seen some really nice runs out of him um, on Mother's Day he was on TV <laughs> yes on the Cowboy Channel his name was across there I was a sweet oh man I was a happy mama so anyway I know this seems rushed but I worked half a day I'm trying to make dinner waiting on a part to come home so I can finish the plumbing and I have to get up tomorrow and do it all over again I still got to water the garden um, that kind of stuff so I'm literally going to be done you guys have seen everything I'm working on hopefully next week you'll have a full-blown podcast where I actually share a little bit more <laughs> I will talk to y'all later thanks for watching